Into math third grade, lesson 6.1, represent division. I can use the information in a division problem to find the number of groups or the number in each group. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 140. You may pause if needed. We will start under build understanding. Question one, Kent is making comic strips to give away at a comic book fair. He has a roll of paper that is 18 inches long. Kent draws comic strips that are each three inches long. How many comic strips does Kent draw? Show equal groups. I'm going to start by creating 18 little squares. And that these 18 squares represent the roll of paper that is 18 inches long. If you would like to pause so that you can draw these squares, you can do that now. Now I'm going to group these by threes because Kent draws comic strips that are each three inches long. If you would like to pause the video and do this on your own, you may, or otherwise follow along with me. So I am going to make one group of three, another group of three, another group of three, this is the fourth group, fifth group, and sixth group. Let's take a look at part A. Are you finding the number in each group or the number of the groups? We were told how many were in each group when they let us know that each comic strip was three inches long. So we weren't look looking for the number in each group. We were looking for the number of groups. So you can write that in and pause if you need. Part B, how many comic strips does Kent draw? Well, we discovered there were one, two, three, four, five, six groups. So we can write there are six comic strips. Let's take a look at the next page, page 141, part two. Some friends want to equally share these baseball cards. There are five friends. How many baseball cards does each friend get? Show equal groups. Let's take a look at part A. How many baseball cards are there? This would be a great time for you to pause and count the number of baseball cards shown. After counting the baseball cards, you should have found that there were 20 baseball cards. Great, let's look at B. Are you finding the number in each group or the number of groups? Well, let's take a look at our um, word problem. The information shows that there are five friends and they all equally share these cards. So I'm not looking for the number of groups. I'm looking for the number in each group because I know that the number of groups is going to be five because there are five friends. Let's write that in. We are looking for the number in each group. Great job. Now it's time to show the equal groups in the green rectangle. If you would like to pause and try this on your own, you can and come back. Otherwise, you can follow along with me. The first thing I'm going to do is create five circles. And I'm creating these five circles to represent the five friends because I'm going to put one baseball card at a time in each of the friends circle. That way I know that they're all equally going to share these baseball cards. Now I will go through and put one card in each of the friends circle until I get to the number 20 because that's how many baseball cards we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I have to stop because that's how many baseball cards I have. Now we can answer part C. How many baseball cards does each friend get? Each friend received four baseball cards. So we can write that in, four baseball cards. 
I'd like to draw your attention to the connective vocabulary because what we just did is called divide. We can show a whole group separated into equal groups. To divide means to separate into equal groups. And that's just what we did. We took 20 baseball cards and we knew that there were five friends who wanted them. So we took the 20 cards and we divided them equally to the five friends. And we found that each friend received four baseball cards. Way to go. Remember, you can always go back and rewatch this video and pause it anytime as needed.